11 national championships, countless All-Americans, and now 1,000 wins. The UConn women's basketball team let the confetti fly for Geno's historic night here at Mohegan Sun. Unsurprisingly, Oriama says reaching this milestone was not part of his plan when he started out. We had specific goals when we started. One of them was definitely not to win a thousand games. But that's exactly what he just accomplished. A win over Oklahoma marked win number 1000 for Oriama, and shortly after the final buzzer sounded, the festivities began. Confetti covered the court, and Oriama was presented with more than a few surprises, including the return of some players from the first UConn team he ever coached. It's a great memory that I have of that group because they were, um, they were so, th they were so excited, they were so thrilled, they were so happy, and, and, uh, and I've never seen a, a bunch of kids happier to get, you know, 12 wins. Brought back a lot of great, great, great memories. Just to see the history, the tradition, you know, the very first team coming back, that's really special and that doesn't happen in a lot of programs, and so it was really cool to experience that. Those were the players Oriama coached back when he says his overconfidence made him think this job would be easy, but he quickly learned that taking things one step at a time was the best way to approach things. When we won our first seven games, that's when I got sidetracked and thought, damn, forget this short-term goal of just not finishing eighth or ninth, I think we can win the league. <laughs> Then we lost like 10 out of our next 11. <laughs> so we went back to short-term goals. With this accomplishment, Oriema refuses to take all the credit. This was also the 1,000th win for associate head coach Chris Daly, who has been with Oriema since the beginning. On the court, you know, she's that, that little, little bird in your ear that's always chirping, chirping, chirping at the little things that you don't do. And um, at times, you know, everyone says that CD can get on their last nerves, but everything she does is is solely to make you better as a person. There's no way that we would be having this conversation right now if, if, uh, if I had hired somebody different. If that first move that I made when I got the job was to call someone else and they said yes, there's no way that they would still be here or that we would be sitting here right now doing this. And for Oriama, he says while this was a special day, it's time to look ahead. Next week, two weeks from now, three weeks from now, a month from now, when we're playing games, I don't know that I'll be referred to as thousand game winner, Gino Oriem. I think it's, it's over and done with once it happens and, you know, we move on and it's something that we put in our memory bank and go from there. For Campus Connect, from UConn, I'm Brandon Carter.